Hi, I'm Arjen and this movie is all about Altiverb version 7. Do make sure you watch this movie in HD format down there in the YouTube bar. And if you can, use headphones or proper speakers. I'll use Pro Tools here to demonstrate, but Altiverb runs in most host applications. Here's Altiverb 7, the original professional convolution reverb plugin. It creates reverb by using actual samples of real spaces from all around the world. And as you see, Altiverb is bypassed now. If I hit play in Pro Tools, you'll hear some dry drums. And when I switched Altiverb out of bypass, you heard the drums in the room that you see right here, which is Teldex Recording Studio in Berlin, Germany. So Altiverb applies the acoustics of a real room to your dry recording. It's a bit hard to believe. To do it, we need this. A click with a room's reverb tail. We get that click reverb by putting up microphones in a room together with a speaker. And because it's hard and dangerous to play back a loud click, we play back a sine wave sweep instead. We later calculate the sweep out of the recording, which gives us that click with reverb. Now take a look at one of your dry recordings. Zoom all the way in, and you'll find that it's a stepped line. Actually, each and every one of these steps is a click. Clicks are pointing up and down at different volumes, but essentially, they're all the same. Now all we need to do is replace each click from the dry bass by a scaled click reverb that we just made in the room. And then the bass will end up sounding like it's played in that room. To illustrate, here's that dry bass actually played back through our onstage speaker in the Antwerp Opera and recorded at the balcony seats. And here's how close Altiverb gets to that. Amazingly close. More of these comparisons are in one of the other Altiverb movies around here. So the click reverb from a room is the key to making any audio sound as if it is played back there. The click reverb is called an impulse response and since the year 2000 we've been making impulse responses in rooms around the world. From down here, Wembley Stadium. Zero. One. to here, at the Los Angeles Symphony Hall. Or like here, in the cockpit of a Boeing 747. Or here, in the Gold Goombas of India. And they all show up here, in the Altiverb browser. There's categories for concert halls, churches and cathedrals. We have plenty of recording studios, or stadiums, clubs. And for post-production, we have domestic spaces like bedrooms, bathrooms, living rooms, but also cars and plenty of outdoor stuff. And then there's a category of classic reverb gear, like reverb springs, plate reverbs or classic digital gear. Now suppose all I know is that for my dry drums here, I'd like a medium sized wooden space. I can type wooden here in the search field and it'll list all my wooden spaces. If I sort by size, the big ones end up on top, scroll down to a like a studio space. So that last one was pretty nice. Now what I can do is hit the similar button 
and AltaVerb will list similar sounding spaces to the last one that I selected. What you can also see here is the news button. All of these impulse responses are provided for free to AltaVerb clients, and we release one every month or so. They pop up here. I can download them right here and install them and listen to them. There's a number of knobs and buttons that work on these impulse responses once they're, once they're loaded. Here's reverb time, lengthening and shortening the reverb tail. Size resizes the room by retuning its resonances. And up here we have the stage positioner. One session in a concert hall in Vienna we recorded 36 stage positions to study exactly what happens to the impulse responses. And from that we derived an algorithm that allows you to pick any position on stage of any of our impulse responses. Listen. Zero, one, two, three, four, one. And if I insert another alto verb on another track, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Okie doke. This way you can nicely draw a group together in the same room or put up the sections of a sampled orchestra on a real stage. Then here are snapshots, single click preset saving and recalling. AltaVerb is total recall, so you do not need snapshots to automate AltaVerb, but they're here for convenience anyway. And this here is the IR import section of AltaVerb. You can download dry sweep files from the AudioEase website and make a recording in a room like we saw earlier in this movie. And you throw the results onto this field here in AltaVerb, and they will sound immediately. You can also play back your sine wave sweep with a portable radio, or you can use the clap of a slate or the bang of a starter pistol to create impulse responses. And I'm going to show you now that you can draw anything onto AltaVerb from your tracks, from the finder, and I'll use Snapper, some piano, and I'll throw it onto this beat. Maybe a motorcycle. Tons of fun. And here's brightness. Brightness is actually an algorithmic synthetic reverb that is exactly tailored to the shape of the impulse response that is chosen. So if you need that rim of artificial brightness, but also the smoothness of real world rooms, this combination is for you. Here's the I.O. tab, all about volumes, in, out, mix. Some quick test sounds. If you have inserted a surround Alta verb, the surround controls pop up here. EQ and damping settings. EQ can be set using the interactive EQ curve here as well. Pre-delay which can lock to tempo of your song and reverb attack. In the drawer down here are settings like reverse reverb, which is very nice in combination with gated reverb that's up here, and also modulation settings. Well, don't forget, there's some more Altiverb movies around here. And thanks for watching this one. Bye.